right, guys, if you're here, you most likely came from part one. If you didn't and you're just new, I'm Thick Nick. I love you and you should love me back. And I love you and that's how it is. Yeah, so this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best products to use for your hair that will make it nice and beautiful. Beautiful. All right, guys, so the first product I like to use is something called Cantu. All right, Cantu, I know, I know, I'm, I'm not black, I know. I know I'm not black, but can too. Good for permed white hair too, all right? I'm, I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you, all right? I know I'm not black, don't make fun of me, bro. But I like can too, too. We can, we can both like can too, all right? This one is the leave-in conditioner. Also, the, the curling cream is really good, but I find the curling cream is way too expensive and you get like not as much for it, but I love leave-in conditioner. It works a lot better for me personally. You guys can do the same, do what you guys would like. The second product, is another variation of that. This one is Mark Anthony. We know about Mark Anthony. Mark Anthony's the plug for the curly hair. You already know Mark Anthony's got it. Mark Anthony has got it. Yeah, rawr. Mark Anthony's got it, you know? So keep in with Mark Anthony. This one's his curling cream. This one's pretty good too, but it's not my top level, but it might be for you. Then after you do that, you wanna rather, you wanna put some kind of spray in to make sure that no like frizz, nothing happens. So I've got two options. There's this one, this one's the full on if you don't care about your hair being a little sticky and harder, you use this. This one, it says intense hold and it has a moisture barrier, all that stuff. It is good. I sometimes don't use it, sometimes I prefer my other product, but this is a very good option. It is uh, John Free Edu. Oh, all right. Next one, olive oil. This one is the one I've been using a lot lately. The only problem is, is it doesn't smell beautiful, all right? Like it doesn't stink, but it don't smell beautiful like coconut, you know? It just smells like, all. it smells like olive oil, you know? So like, um, you guys can get this one too. This one's pro probably one of my favorites. This one makes my hair shiny and like glossy. If you guys would like that, stay, keep getting this. And now what I'm gonna use first, Cantu leave-in conditioner. You're gonna open that up. You're gonna put your two fingers in. Just like get inside your girl. <laughs> Joke's on you, my girl can only fit one finger. Ah, no, I'm just kidding, I don't got a girl. <laughs> uh, but if I do got a girl, I'd love for that. So what you're gonna do, put it between your hands, make it all yummy, like you know, you bust, you bust it or not inside of it. And then you wanna Put it, and you wanna make sure you get the roots first. So I always go back first, get it in the roots first, so your fingertips. Mix it in your fingertips first, all right? You wanna get it down below, cause that's the main part. You wanna get it down below in the roots first, all right? And then, once that's it, now you mix your hands again, you got it in the roots, now you put it on the top and you scrunch, all right? You scrunch it, and you go out, shake it a bit, and then you feel, I think I need a little bit more, so let's grab another little slump. Grab a little that much. Smush, smush. And then, yeah, put it around. Shake it up, and now. Looks like this. And yeah, that's the first part. Now you got that part in. This is not what it's gonna look like once it dries. It's a little bit looser right now. All right, now you have two choices. You can put the olive oil in or any kind of spray you guys like, or this one. I like to put both sometimes, so today I'm gonna put both. So olive oil. Spray that in, you know? Get that in. And don't forget. Your sulfate-free comb. You already know. You wanna stretch it out so you, may, you wanna make sure that all the product gets in everywhere, you know? You go like that, and boom. That is the first original. All right, and one thing with perms and stuff like that is once it dries, that's the big key to it. You have to, once it starts to dry, you have to take advantage of it, because it's not natural, it's not normal. So it's, it, you have to take care of it differently than let's say a normal black person who has nice, beautiful, curly hair themselves, who are lucky, man, you're lucky. Lucky to have curly hair, all right? But you see, then it turns into this, slowly starts going more. Then, what you wanna do, shake the finishing spray. Shake, 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 what about that, y'all? Shake, shake, shake it all up. What the? 
Okay, okay. That didn't work. Shit, shake a heart over that. Huh? Come on, shake, 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 shake. Then you want to put this, make sure it gets everywhere. Alright, now what you're going to do is you're going to let it air dry. Nothing else. Do not pat dry. Don't blow dry. Do not do that. Don't blow dry, man. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it, man. Don't blow dry. Blow dry and bad. Alright, blow dry never touches this hair, alright? So I'm going to get back to you guys once it starts to dry up a little bit. And yeah. All right, guys, so we're at the finishing touch where it's been about an hour or so. So this is where you get the final look. See my hair right now, you can just leave it like this if you like. It's just kind of normal. It's like kind of a casual look, you know, just um, hair down, stuff like that. If you guys want to take a look, just normal. But if you guys want to have more of a poofy look, you want to pull back out your comb. If you guys don't got one of these sulfate free combs if you don't have one of these you can just use your fingers works the exact same so what you want to do is you just want to push it out a little bit so you want to go till you feel a little bit too much resistance and you want to lift up so lift up but you don't want to go all the way this is how you get like a good amount of volume so you go 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 you want to make sure you always get the back because with me my back of my hair always tends to fall off so this is a little bit more poofy of a look and then there's one more look this one's a little bit more up the one more look is if you literally stretch it all and brush it all out fully this is how you get the poofiest look make sure you get the middle so it's all normal you want to make sure you get everything in there and poofy this is personally one of my favorite looks is when I make it nice and big, shake it out a little bit. And then this is the big poof fluff. So if you guys enjoy, please leave a like, subscribe, and please, 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 please subscribe. Help me out. Love you all. Goodbye. Said you follow me anywhere. Do your eyes.